nobody wins when the family feels But bond is still they paying They want one meal for Lupita No, I'm coming to get you, baby No, my heart might get me killed Life without the possibility of parole That's the fate of the man convicted of killing a three-year-old and her father Man, officers running Golly uh, uh. The wave of grief and sadness that washed over people as he ran by with her body is something I'll never forget. Lawless, on the other hand, showed no emotion during sentencing. But I hope that that's all a front. I hope that you feel this the way that other people do. Because if you don't, then you are a monster. Hey, see you. who was previously bailed out for 300 grand by rapper ESTG and his company claims to be an aspiring rapper himself. In fact, Randolph's family found out he was at home with an ankle bracelet after he made another Instagram video in which he rapped about how he liked to shoot and play with pistol. Around and early morning shooting in downtown Louisville. Around 1.30 this morning, Louisville Metro Police responded to a report of a shooting near 8th in West Main Streets. When they got there, they found a man inside of a car who had been shot. He was pronounced dead at the scene. LMPD's homicide unit is handling the investigation. Right now, they don't have any suspects. Fam, let's be real here. The 45th president just got touched. Anybody can get it. And when you're in the streets, posting your location could be your biggest downfall. Man, them folks don't care if you're an artist or a regular street dude. Once it's up, it's up. Especially when you got a situation like the one we about to discuss today. You're talking about a well-known artist who associate himself with the man who was arrested for taking the life of another man and his daughter in his house. And whether it's calm or get back, when you in the streets and you cross that line, man, you know you and yours got a target as well. And on top of all that, your crew get arrested by the feds for allegedly selling narcotics and terrorizing your community. But what you do, you still go throw a summer jam in your hometown. You giving them people who in the streets, who can't afford your lifestyle or afford to keep up where you at, a place to get at you. Know where your location. It might be a needle in a haystack, but like we say, once you cross that line, it's worth that risk. At least to them. Fam, today we talk about a man who was gunned down only minutes after his artist concert. A rap concert was probably one of the biggest rap concert in a city this year. Louisville, Kentucky. Over 10,000 people in attendance. But because of who hosted the show, local police had to make a statement the night before. We'll provide extra security measures at a rap concert in downtown Louisville this weekend. Louisville rapper ESTG will perform at his Summer Jam event. It's at the KFC Yum Center tomorrow night. He has more than a million followers on social media. The EST in his name stands for Everybody Shine Together. LMPD sent WDRB a statement saying in part, we are aware of this event and the potential public safety risk involved. LMPD will be providing extra security measures to assist in maintaining the safest possible environment within our ability. We have no tolerance for violence. Fam, in this video, we talk about who this artist is, talk about the manager who lost his life at his concert, talk about their association with an alleged gang called EST, which is also a rap label. Stands for Everybody Shine Together. But first, I want you guys to remember, I won't give you no ain't. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. Fam, the man we talk about today was once a standout football player who was even invited to an NFL draft combine. George Albert Stone III, aka ESTG, as mentioned, from Louisville, Kentucky. And over the weekend, ESTG had hosted his Summer Jam Fest. And according to the flyer, in attendance was Joe Gotti, Lil Baby, 42 Dub, and many more. And because of ESTG crew in the news the last couple of years, the local police wanted to make a priority to add extra security. Now to give you a couple of reasons on why this was a priority, you see back in August of 2020, a three year old girl and her father were dead after being shot near an intersection of West Southern Heights. It was a Friday afternoon at around 1 p.m. Metro Safe confirmed that a man was found dead when officers arrived at the scene in the 3700 block of Color Avenue. A LMPD officer then rushed the second shooting victim, a child, to Northern Children's Hospital, but she died a short time later. May they both rest in peace. 
Family members reported to the news, the girl is Trinity Randolph, a toddler who was reportedly in the house with her father, Brandon Waddles, when they were both shot and killed. At the time, 25, now 27, Kevon Lawless, aka Lil Kata, was arrested for the crime. He was alleged of being the man who went inside the home and shot both victims. The man is now under arrest for the murder of a three-year-old Louisville girl and her father. Metro police say Kevin Lawless forced his way inside a house on Callert Avenue earlier this month, then shot Trinity Randolph and Brandon Waddles. Lawless is charged with murder, burglary, and weapons charges. Police believe Lawless and Waddles knew each other, but they wouldn't discuss the nature of their relationship. Officers arrested a second suspect last week. Evan Ross is charged with facilitation to murder. The arrest report states Ross owned the car used in the crime and admitted to his involvement. And while waiting to go to trial, the rapper ESTG will make a song titled Sky Dweller. Rapping, they want a mail for Lakata. Know I'm coming to get you, baby. Got pending cases and one bond is still they paying. They want one mail for Lakata. Know I'm coming to get you, baby. ESTG would be a man of his word. It seemed a rap label in New York that has him on the LLC bonded, Lil' Kata out. But depending on how you look at it, that was a waste of money because shortly after, in August of 2022, Kevon Lawless, AKA Lil' Kata, was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Without the possibility of parole, that's the fate of the man convicted of killing a three-year-old and her father. Cruel, evil, and monster, those are the words the victim's family had for Kevon Lawless. WDRB's Christy Batista takes us to the emotional sentencing. From the family, we used to do everything together, to the judge. The pain is real. <clears throat> Emotions ran high in the courtroom Thursday as the fate of Kevon Lawless was decided. She didn't deserve to die. She didn't have nothing to do with anything. Three-year-old Trinity Randolph and her father, Brandon Waddles, were shot to death in their home in 2020. Kevon Lawless was found guilty this September. Brandon and Trinity didn't get, deserve to get shot down like a dog. And after this trial and looking at the pictures from the day of the murder and how it occurred, the way that I thought they died was not even the way that they were killed. Body camera footage of officers responding to the call was shown during the trial. When that officer's running... The wave of grief and sadness that washed over people as he ran by with her body is something I'll never forget. Lawless, on the other hand, showed no emotion during sentencing. But I hope that that's all a front. I hope that you feel this the way that other people do. Because if you don't, then you are a monster. You are evil. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Lawless does have the opportunity to appeal this decision. Reporting at the Judicial Center with photojournalist Emily Evans, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News. But during this time, to ESTG fans, he on up. He looking good. He smiling through the pain. Just got signed to Yo Gotti, but in the streets, he taking L after L. Because months before Lil Cater was sentenced, the FBI had arrested 10 people, a part of his crew. Everybody shine together. Now fam, I don't know this to be a fact, but them posting Lil Cater bail months before this indictment by the feds probably drew more attention to them. Now during this time, ESTG was not one of the 10 people arrested, but I'm sure he was feeling the pressure. Worrying about the police and your opposition every night gonna lead to some sleepless nights. Now this is where I want you guys to pay attention fam. Cause among those 10 people, two was very important to EST success. His business partner, Rico's Mosley, and Eric Mosley, his brother, who was also his manager. Now why- The Fed said three more people are on the run. If the name of this alleged gang sounds familiar, it's because it is. And you may have heard the name on the radio. A famous Louisville rapper, ESTG, now tied through his name and his associates to one of the largest gang busts the feds have recently conducted. The U.S. Attorney's Office naming the street gang on their press release as Everybody Shine Together or EST. That is the same group we uncovered had paid for the bond for Kevon Lawless, the man suspected of killing three-year-old Trinity Randolph and her father, Brandon Waddles. 
it's a hard thing to even get over. This was Trinity's aunt when we last spoke, angry to learn ESTG had even rapped about bailing Lawless out, saying, quote, I'm coming to get you, baby. The rap artist who, and, and manager who posted the bond, they didn't give a damn about three-year-old who got killed. No, they're selling their music. ESTG, or George Stone, was not indicted or arrested in this latest sting, but two of his business partners were. Rico's Mosley and Eric Mosley, who online has identified himself as Stone's music manager. The Fed said they worked with LMPD and a number of other agencies on this case. During warrants, they said they found a kilo of cocaine, meth, guns, a stolen car, and $160,000 in cash. Stone, meanwhile, is still making music and has worked with names like Yo Gotti and Jay-Z. Our ESTG former manager is serving his time. He have another person take his place, EST Big Beach. But just two years after ESTG first manager get arrested by the feds, his second manager get gunned down minutes after his biggest concert in his hometown. Big Beach real name was Devonte Beach. He was 31 years old. And at around 1.30 a.m., Louisville Metro Police had officers called to the 800 block of West Main Street near Louisville Slugger Museum on reports of a shooting, which is also less than a mile away from the Yum Center. They secured the area and then found ESC Big Beach inside a car who had been shot to death. May he rest in peace and love of condolences to his family. Evan, I'm Noelle Friel. Tonight, a rapper from the River City took the stage at the KFC Yum Center. However, his concert isn't without a little controversy. Wave News reporter Logan Perrone explains why Ellen PD was on alert. Yeah. Noel, tonight, LMPD, they're helping increase safety and security for the ESTG concert. This all comes amid concerns over his alleged connection to organized crime that could have brought violence to the event as well as the city. Now, I was able to speak with some concert goers earlier who say that this extra security is welcomed. Crowded streets in downtown Louisville Saturday night as ESTG took to the stage at the Yum Center for his hometown crowd. Seeing somebody make it from Louisville, it's, it's, it's an exciting time, you know. CJ Calhoun says he grew up in the same neighborhood as the rapper and looked forward to a stress-free night. We're just trying to go to a concert and have a good time. I don't think it's, it shouldn't be any issues with anything. Music aside, Calhoun and others like Keith Elliott say some worry over the artist's past. EST, he, you know, him and his people, they, you know, they got some stuff going on, so that's what a lot of people's concerned about. A history tied to crime leading to caution from LMPD, who said they were providing extra security measures to assist in maintaining the safest possible environment for the event. Back in 2021, our wave troubleshooters found Everybody Shines Together Entertainment LLC, an organization tied to the rapper, also known as George Stone, was responsible for posting bond for Kevon Lawless. The only thing that was taken in this robbery was two lives. Lawless was found guilty in 2022 of killing a three-year-old and her father. That business and G's associates Eric and Rico's Mosley were also named in a 2021 federal gang bust. Hours before he hit the stage, officers patrolled outside and a canine unit could be seen inside the building. In general, you just gotta focus, you just gotta pay attention, pay attention to your surroundings, that's the most important part. Calhoun says while he's glad security precautions were taken, it's all just background noise. It does overshadow the positive things that he does do. Like, he's a good person, really. Now, as of this hour, we have not had any reports from... When you're in the streets, that's part of the game. Famous was the story of a rapper who lost both of his managers in the span of two years. One to the system and one to gun violence. Only minutes after his show. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.